Welcome back everyone and today you are for a treat. I have my dear friend Michael with me today. You probably already saw him in some of my videos. He is my super strong student. As you remember, we call him Super Mike. Mm. Mike is going to share today with us how to stay healthy and of course feel good after 60. Michael, I will let you talk a little bit. Yeah, well I'm Mike as you heard, but uh, I've been going to Juliet's classes now for about probably four or five years, so most of you already know me who attend her classes as well. And uh, I'm just glad to be here and maybe share some of uh, my experiences since I've aged a little bit, over 60, and uh, we'll see what happens here. Well, I, I just want you to know, guys, that Michael literally one of my strongest students here in Orlando, Florida. And I'm not kidding, I know he's shy to talk about it. But again, you already saw him in those classes. And one other thing, some of you might not know, Michael is 73 years old, 73. So mm -hmm. it's after 60, our topic today, but I just want you to know how old is Michael. All right, so what we're gonna do today? I got um, a lot of questions from you guys. Uh, how to stay fit and healthy after 60. And of course, there is much more than I can cover today, but I picked the 10 most asked one. And we will begin uh, with the first one right away. So the first one I pick for today is, can you lose weight and get in shape after 60? Can you lose weight and get in shape after 60, Michael? <laughs> Definitely, and I guess I'm a testament to that because uh, That's right. I mean, I start gaining, I was at a good weight till I was about 45 years old. And since then I gradually, gradually went up in weight, little by little, actually until I was probably around 62. And then I had some health issues, which kind of shook me up a little bit and I said, I got to do something about it. And my first impression, I got to lose, I got to lose some weight and eat better. And I, so I started to uh, walk little by little. I started walking maybe two miles and then I increased it all the way to five miles a day, Amazing. every day, seven days a week. Wow. And I just stuck to that. I, I was walking five miles a day and I also cut down what I ate. I guess the thing was though, I didn't, change the food I ate. I just ate less of it. Mm -hmm. But after just a couple, not even a couple of years, I already lost 35 pounds. Wow. 35 pounds. 35 pounds. Yeah. And if you want to take it a little farther, uh, a couple of years later when I start joining some exercise, mm -hmm. uh, the gyms and taking exercise classes, um, you know, I met some people and they um, told me about a plant-based diet. So um, I was intrigued by that. And Let's I save just... it for later because I have actually a question for that too. Oh, okay, we can talk about that later. I just want to clarify one thing. So you haven't been really, really active before 60. You've been emerged into the work. And Michael, what is your profession? It's I was an electrical engineer. He was an electrical engineer. Mostly a yes. desk job too. Mostly a I desk job. I mean, I job. did travel, but uh, now and then, but uh, it was mostly a desk job. So would you say um, you really start to take care of your house um, probably after 60? Taking care of my house, yes. Of your house, of your house. Oh, my health, Of my your health, health yes. and fitness. Yes, it was, it was after 60. It was yes. after 60. After then, uh, before That's then, I, like I said, I had gained weight and everything, and it was just after 60, like I said, around 62. Wow, that's amazing, Michael. Is when I began. That's simply amazing. I never was to a gym, never did much exercise, a little bit here and there, walking, riding my bike, but nothing on a schedule, you know, just mm -hmm. periodically here and there. Wow, so guys, it's definitely, I mean, Michael is, uh, living proof that it doesn't matter how old you are even if you haven't been working out before and uh, had a sedentary lifestyle pretty much sedentary lifestyle mm -hmm. and you can start your fitness and health journey after 60 years old and get better because let me tell you that 
I met Michael approximately what seven or eight years ago. That's been mm, about five years ago. Five, I think. six, yeah, maybe. Yeah. So it's about, been yeah. it's been a while. It's been a while. In every single year, he is improving. Every single year. Well, that's that's very true. I mean. I see Michael pretty much every day, I would say, except Wednesday right now. And by the way, we just finished really challenging HIIT workout today morning before this interview. Anyway, let's move on. We have a lot of questions to cover today. Number two, very much often asked by you, Tim. How can I boost my energy after 60? Because you definitely need the energy to work out and to make yourself to get into the gym. Right, yeah. Michael? Yeah. Well, it's kind of fun because I don't take any energy drinks or anything specifically for energy, but I just try to eat nutritious food, a lot of vegetables and legumes and everything like that. I'm on a plant-based diet, and uh, but also um, just uh, kind of, well, just eating good, I guess that's what I base my energy on, and also just like a motivation to actually do something. Um, it, in other words, it's just like when I get up in the morning, you know, when you're sleeping, you know, your energy's low, but I force myself to get out of bed. And as soon as I do and I stretch, I, pay, I feel my energy already picking up. What is your motivation? Uh, my motiva I don't I don't even know what my motivation is. It's just to do to to get up and and do something. And I got in the habit of doing that. But my alarm, my clock radio goes off. I'm up right away. I really I love that keyword. I really love that keyword. I got in a habit of doing this. Yes. Because motivation is comes and goes, guys. You know that. And a habit that's what's going to carry you through Ex every single day. Exactly. And then when I. Um, started going to the gym and everything like that. I worked my way up a little bit mm -hmm. and then I, right now I'm going, I take about, I go seven days a week to the, to the gym. I know that. And I, know that. I take 10 classes. I'm not crazy about working out on the machines. I love going to classes though. And those and different ones, not only yoga, but Pilates, different workout classes for my abs. And uh, I love it. And that, it just gives me that incentive to do it, and, and it's, it's almost like a self-motivation. I know what it is. It's sometimes you feel a little bit lazy, but boy, when I, once I get into a class oh, we'll and I start going, sometimes. I just go. I know. Well, let me summarize it for the viewers. So would you say that part of your daily motivation slash energy is, would be that excitement um, to stay healthy, to be healthy, to feel better? Would it be the part of it? Yes. To part of your energy? Exactly. To feel better and, you know, uh, I don't care how long I live, but if I live, I want to be healthy, okay? I want to be able to get around. I don't want to depend on other people to take care of me or anything as I get older. And uh, so... Uh, Quality of life is important. And, and it's just that motivation somehow. How about the people you are so excited to meet? in a gym, your friends, would you say this is like the big part of your fitness journey to be among the like-minded people? That is a big part of it. Yes. Because when, that's why I go to classes rather than being on machines. Machines are, it's good for, some people like it, it's good, but I get bored to death on them. But it, when I go into a class <laughs> and I start talking with people, I, you know, if I don't know somebody, I'll, even today, I the girl next to me, I just mm -hmm. introduce myself to her, and hey, you know, I try to remember everybody's name too. I know that. And so every time I'm in that. the class, I say hi. Every time they come in the room, I say hi, hi, you know, their name, and everybody knows me. I think by now everybody too. Everybody knows Superman. And I, I think that just picks me up, just that social interaction, interaction. with yep. people. Yep, I agree with you. What about, and I want to hear a little bit more about your um, plant-based diet a, a little bit later because we have yeah. a few questions for that. But definitely what Michael said about the food, I just want to bring an extra attention to that because we talk about this while, while our trainings, um, once I record my videos for you guys, 
but I'm always talking in moving. It's very hard to bring more attention to some topics. What Michael said, he doesn't take any particular supplements for his energy, for the boost of the motivation, but what he does, he eats really well. A lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables, a lot of berries probably, legumes and beans because he's on a plant-based diet. And this is a big part of your daily energy because you can eat a lot of food, but it's gonna be unnutritionally empty. Or you can eat just a little bit, mm -hmm. but the very nutritious foods like nuts, berries, good healthy grains, and it's gonna give you so much energy, not just uh, not just for your stomach, it's, it's gonna feel really heavy, but it's boosting your brain because your energy and your strength comes from your brain. It seems like it comes from the food, but you have to feed your brain first because if your brain is hungry and starved of nutrition, you're gonna feel hungry on a stomach. That's just how, it's, that's just how it mm -hmm. goes. All right, let's keep moving. Next question. Um, the best vitamins for energy and not to get tired. Okay, Michael already said he doesn't get any vitamins. I, no, well, I take, I, the ones I take are not really for energy as such, like multiple vitamin I take and CoQ10. Mm -hmm. I take, because I'm on a plant-based diet, I take vitamin That's B12. That's actually a good point. Mm -hmm. B12 and I take calcium for my bones. Other than that, uh, well, that's a good... I don't um, take anything that's a good point. just as an energy booster as such. Mm -hmm. you know, the only thing I could think of is after my lunch, I drink a, a, a cup of coffee, you know, and that's kind of to keep me a little bit awake because all morning, most mornings, I'm very active. You are And then very after active. I ate my lunch, and I usually eat a big lunch, you know, I kind of, you know, I want to stay awake a little bit in the afternoon. Well, I show up, guys, in the gym and approximately at 8 a.m. every morning, depends on the class, it could be a little bit earlier. Michael is always there before me, always there before me, already on his bossu ball, doing his balance on one leg, doing his tree pose on one leg. <laughs> Not a joke, it's just a real thing. It's simply so inspiring. But I want to add up a little bit to those vitamins. Michael mentioned that uh, he's on a plant-based diet, right? That's where you really need to um, find the way to get that B12 vitamin and the B group because those comes from the animal-based products like eggs, meat, and fish. So you gotta make sure you take a B12. And in general, the B group of the vitamins, that's what gives you that good, 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 healthy, um, good, healthy energy. And it helps a little bit your metabolic rate so it's raising your metabolism as well but again we're getting all of our nutrition from the healthy nutritious food that's the best source you can ever find no mm -hmm. supplements can even replace it it's a good to have a healthy supplements and i all for the good ones and i take a lot of good healthy again whole food supplements not the vitamins i want to make sure not an isolated vitamins guys but whole food based supplements mm -hmm. this is very important okay let's keep moving how many days a week should 60 years old or after 60 years old and on exercise how many days a week 60 years old must exercise at least michael what would you say and then i will give well, my input on it as well well i exercise seven days a week i mean you don't have to Probably nice to have a day off, maybe, but I think maybe a rule of thumb is work like an hour, work out of about an hour a day, and whether six days a week or seven days a week, six is probably okay. For, and for me, um, I do maybe a little bit more than that because I have sometimes I have two classes, so that's right. So I would say I might even average about two hours a day. Uh, seven days a week and uh, usually even when I come home from the class sometimes I have to mow the lawn so I get out and even do more work than that. So you keep moving pretty much I, the first part of the day? The first part of the day, the first mornings. Part of the day. I'm very busy the first part of the day. Movement is life. But uh, you know it's up to the person you know I think some people could if you could handle more you know do your seven days, you know, know. and yeah. Exactly. And 
I want to add uh, to add a little bit. Um, the general rule would be, of course, if you are over six years old and you haven't worked out before, I wouldn't recommend you guys to go ahead and get in the gym and work yourself out for four hours there because it's, it's not really sustainable. If you just begin after 60 or you may be close to 60, maybe you over 50, just set a small commitment. Maybe show up in a gym for three times a week, 30 minutes, right? And it's much likely you're gonna stick with that. So you can build a habit. So whether you're going to the gym or you're working online with us, it's one or other, or you can alternate. Sometimes you can go to the gym and sometimes you can go to the gym and you can do online workout. But as Michael said, uh, he works out seven days a week and it's totally, totally true. And sometimes he does it twice, twice, two workouts, twice a day. Mm -hmm. And um, some of those workouts, let me tell you, he would do our hit class for an hour with a five pounds. And I think he do even, seven and a half. Uh, yeah, Michael recently moved to seven and a half pounds weights um, too, as well with me. And he would begin the yoga class right after that, because on Saturdays we have some double trouble class um, mm -hmm. we do together. And sometimes it's a two classes in all other days too. So that's amazing what Michael achieved. And I can tell you that also when I met him, he wasn't as flexible <laughs> and as strong. No, That's this true. is a true thing. I gotta yeah. share it. And each and every year, I, I watch Michael to bloom. This is, that's not even exaggeration because he is so flexible now. He's so strong. He can definitely compete and win any of my 30, 40 years old students. True stuff, true thing. Michael, that's, I mean, this it's is something true. I, I mean, you I should be proud of. I noticed myself, especially with flex flexibility. I mean, since I began what I could do now, I can't believe it even. You can flip I, your lotus, I know that. Yeah, and, and even, I'd say, even over just the last several months, I notice even, I'm even improving more. There's some things I, I couldn't do before I could do now. It's just a matter of keeping at it, you know, and keep You're on right. stretching that a little right. bit more, a little bit at a time. And you don't have to, when, when you start doing stuff like that, going to a gym, you don't, you could start off slowly. You don't have to, like you were saying, start off a, a half hour or something, do something and build yourself up. It's easier. It's Instead easy. of committing, just going and say, I'm going to do seven days a week, three hours a day, uh, you may not be able to stick with that if you if you yeah, just then begin from be scratch. Simply, mm -hmm. simply, simply overwhelm. But as we like to say in our classes, online classes and in the classes, in a real setting, in a gym, um, you don't have to be perfect, guys. You don't have to be perfect. As long as you doing your best and staying on top of your fitness and health, little by little, little thing, one little thing at a time, it will improve. It always will improve. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah. So, okay, let's keep moving. Next question. How much should 60 years old eat? Eat. Eat, amount, because there is a um, saying, as we get older, uh, we eat less. Mm -hmm. But this is a really important topic, especially if you active and fit 60 years old or over because that is a little bit very but i want to give michael a chance to talk for it and to share his uh plan based diet when did he start it and how does it affect his health and fitness okay well as far as how much a person should eat uh, my guideline is i i know when i have a good weight okay, okay. so i have these tolerances on it you know if I don't want to go too low and I want it too high. So, but if I find my weight going down, I'm just going to eat more, but I don't want to go above that upper limit. It might be like plus or five mi plus or minus five pounds, you know, above where I want to be. And, but if I go above that five pounds, I want to cut back. Mm -hmm. If I would go below that five pounds, I'm probably want to eat a little bit more. So what would you and do? Do you just, um Cut your calories a little bit intake. I don't count eat the calories. Smaller, eat the smaller I, I, meals. Uh, Just share with the audience. What do you do? Do you exercise more if you feel that you're gaining weight? What do you do? Uh, no, uh, no, I exercise. I don't even exercise more. It's more my eating, and I might, you know, 
if I'm doing good and my weight's a little bit low, I might eat a little dessert or something like that. Whereas if my weight's on the upper end, I'll just cut that dessert out. I just will not eat it. Mm -hmm. um, and I am on a plant-based diet, but mm -hmm. I even cheat on there sometimes. What if would we, you cheat on? Well, I actually, I've been eating fish once a week, so. What type of fish? Uh, salmon. Salmon. Salmon, yeah. I love salmon. I, if, if, love, I salmon. love it too. I love so salmon. So I will, I've been doing it almost once a week now. Other than that, I'm pretty much on a plant-based diet. What about uh, eggs, milk, um, eggs, milk, meat, nothing like that, right? I, I, no other, no, no other meat. I, I try to avoid it. I, I might be at a place somewhere where they're, that's what they're serving or something. I, I might take some, but n not as a, not as not on a regular basis. Put it that way, maybe once in a while, and especially if my weight is under control. Mm -hmm. I, um, but I eat a lot of. Um, what would be your primary, like a like a primer food which you would eat every single day? What would it be? Well, it, it's probably more like along the lines of the vegetables and all that. Like. Mm -hmm. I eat bro broccoli almost every day. Mm -hmm. Me too, by the way. But also for my plant-based diet, I need protein. So I will have a lot of, uh, like peas are a good source mm -hmm. of protein. I do eat tofu mm -hmm. every day. So that's a good source, that's a good of, source of protein. Mm -hmm. Good plant-based source and, of protein. And uh, again, the fish even helps with that. Mm -hmm. And I get some stuff I don't get with the normal plant-based stuff like omega-3 with the salmon too. Mm -hmm. So I don't mind taking that now once a week. Mm -hmm. So I'm not 100% plant-based. It is except for the, the salmon that I but eat. But I would say it's 90, 95, 96% uh, yeah, 95, yeah. of Michael diet is a plant-based. And when did you start it again? When did you change? Because you used to eat meat, you used to eat, um, you told me, Michael told me a few years ago, that he actually didn't have a good diet before, before 60. I did not. He no, didn't. I would say only about three years ago is when um, my weight was under control, but my cholesterol was way up. Mm -hmm. And what happened was I was in actually one of your classes um, at LA Fitness, and one of the uh, one of the ladies there was talking to me about her plant-based di diet, and, and she was saying how it lowered her cholesterol and everything. I said, mm. so I started thinking about it. But it's kind of funny. The next day, I was in a totally different gym. I was at the Y, and um, I was talking to a guy f who I know very well from India. Mm -hmm. He's an older guy. He's older than me even, and he, wow. yeah. He's about five years older than me, and he does yoga and everything too. Mm -hmm. But I got to talk, and, and then he started talking about his plant-based diet and what it did for him, not only for cholesterol, but I mean even for his heart. He had a heart problem way back when, and he got on, he was on plant-based diet, and he was telling me about it. And they both kind of referred to actually the same book and everything about how not to die. Um, well, my doctor Gregor. Actually, 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 yes, that one and, and and that one they did mention too, and they mentioned the second one about and I can't remember the name, but it was like how to. Um, it had to do with how to prevent heart disease, mm -hmm. okay, and you know I read those things, but within a day after the second, like this Indian friend of mine, uh, mentioned it. Within a day or two, I decided to go on a plant-based diet. This was about three. So you just this made was just a decision. About three years ago, you just made a decision. I made a decision. Wow. Up to that point, I was eating almost what I wanted, except I I wasn't eating much. Mm -hmm. I mean, I tried to control how much I ate, but I was still eating. I was eating meat, whatever I wanted to, mm -hmm. even some fatty food and you know some desserts Miracle. and everything like that, sugar, you know. So. That's probably why my cholesterol was up. But when I went on a plant-based diet, and like I said, about it's three stabilized. years ago. Yeah, about three years ago, I went on that. And um, since then, my cholesterol went from like 245 
down to like 145. Wow. It would drop like 100 points wow. within a very short time. Wow. And That's I, amazing, guys. That's I, I amazing. I did, and getting back to that first question about how to lose weight, too, mm -hmm. I lot, when I went on the plant-based, I lost an additional 10 pounds. Wow. Which was, I, in fact, it was kind of scary. I thought, something. wow, this, my weight kept on going down. I said, I, could, I start to get scared. I said, maybe I'm losing too much weight. You didn't connect two and two, probably. Well, you thought maybe there's I, a I knew it was helping me, but I, I thought it might be going down too much. And I said, uh-oh, but then it leveled off. So that's sort of where I'm at now. I've been maybe fluctuating up maybe plus or minus three pounds, you know, but I, I'm trying to maintain that. Which is very that. normal. And I feel good at this level. Wow, that's an amazing. But it was a plant-based, not only did it drop my cholesterol, which I really wanted, mm -hmm. and so I don't have to take stands and all that, but it also, it's also, you know, I mean, it, I lost that extra weight too. Yeah. This is so, it felt better. This is so inspiring, Michael. This is so inspiring, guys. And um, I just want to share a little bit because I don't share much about my diet because we always working out, always go, go, go. I'm not a plant based. This is my goal. Listening to Michael right now, this is my big goal. I'm working on it. It, it used to be a few years before that I didn't eat meat at all. I still eat eggs and the fish, which I really like. Um, and I don't eat meat much. I don't eat, eat eggs much. I mm -hmm. don't drink milk. I don't eat yogurt. But still, I'm not a fully plant-based, but listening to your story, Michael, it's so mm -hmm. inspiring. And, um, and by the way, guys, by the way, we mentioned uh, that book, um, How Not to Die. A lot of you maybe already um, read the book that's an amazing book by dr greger and i'm gonna share with you a little secret dr greger is gonna have an interview with me uh, very soon so you're gonna see it on the channel so i'm so excited to meet him in person it's going to be a zoom interview but it's going to be especially for us so if you have mm -hmm. any questions for me to ask dr greger the author of the book how not to die please uh, don't forget to leave the messages down below in the comments. I just wanted to bring it up so you guys get excited. And make sure you read the book too. And make sure you read <laughs> the book too. That book is actually amazing. And I will put it in my um, video description for you uh, so you can find it. It is on Audible. You can buy it in the library. I mean, you probably can even get it in the library. I would think so. It's a, it's a very I, yeah, popular. I, audio book. I got it in the audio book too because that's what I do. I listen to audio books. Okay, 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 let's keep moving. Um, what are the three most important foods? We go back to the food. Let's just finish this topic. What are the three most important foods you can eat for the healthy aging? Three most important foods, Michael, or food groups, I would say, for the healthy aging. This question, guys, came from you, so mm. I just want to make sure well, that I cover it and then I will add a little bit to this. Yeah, well, for me, I guess it's kind of the fruit and vegetables to mm -hmm. begin with. Agreed. Most important 100%. is the vegetable, especially. 100%, number one. And then um, I would say like the fibrous foods, mm -hmm. um, beans, even even nuts, uh, you know, and I, I, I eat almonds. I, I try not to eat with salt. I usually eat the uh, raw natural almonds and, yes. and walnuts. Mm -hmm. Between those two is what I usually eat and beans, you know, black beans, and uh, just the fiber stuff, and good grains. I, I eat quinoa, mm -hmm. and, uh, and of course, oatmeal, oats. Mm -hmm. uh, either oatmeal in the morning, uh, I, I get steel-cut oats. Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, you don't want guys to get an instant one with uh, tons of added sugar to that. <laughs> Right, right. Just a good. But I even make my own. Cut. I even make my own oat oat milk. Mm -hmm. So I know what goes into it. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's just the oats. I grind them up in my blender, wow. add water, and I add cinnamon. Michael, we need to have you for a cooking class. <laughs> to to <laughs> yeah. teach us how to do I don't know. a proper morning oatmeal. I don't know if they would like that, but 
Wow. Mm. Well, that's very, again, yeah, that's so, very so, uh, inspiring. Like fruits and vegetables and then the fiber and um, um, also, um, y you know, you need some like omega-3. I guess that's why I, I did salmon. start recently the salmon, yeah. So, but I also uh, use flax, flax seed too for mm -hmm. uh, for omega three. Yeah, that's a perfect source of omega three. Yeah, flax three. seed, and yeah, I, and I, good I sprinkle and that on, like if I make bowls or something. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, well, I actually have um, pretty much nothing to add to it, guys. Um, I mean, whether you're over sixty um, or you much younger in your thirties, in your twenties. The good healthy diet, that's probably, it's not probably, this is the number one for your health. Exercise is an amazing addition in order to keep your weight under control and um, to stay healthy and vital to have a lot of energy. But if you don't have a healthy, clean, nutritious diet, that's going to hurt you eventually. And especially if you mm -hmm. after 60. So mm -hmm. as Michael said, fruits and vegetables. I also add to this mix berries. Berries are really mm -hmm. high in fiber and high in the antioxidants, which we all need. And especially, especially if you're working out a lot, you need antioxidants. So fruits, vegetables, and berries as a one group for me, it's a, it's a number one must in my diet. And it's mm -hmm. a number one must in Michael's diet. Mm -hmm. Then of course, healthy fibers and legumes like, um, quinoa, buckwheat, uh, brown rice. I would even go for the black rice. I don't know if you have ever Which tried rice. it. Maybe it's not. like one in a shell. It mm -hmm. has that very specific taste, you know, okay. which if you're not used to, you might not like it from the first try, but you have to give it a try because it's amazingly t tasty as you develop the taste of that. And it's rich in antioxidants. It's mm -hmm. rich in fibers. It has that low glycemic index, which is not going to make you fat. So you can eat that rice and add it to your healthy diet as well. I mean, and of course the fibers, if you don't get enough fiber, that's going to hurt you in the long run as well, especially when you aging, especially for your digestive system. And we all know that's another completely different topic about your gut health. That's where your health starts in your gut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really important. I'm so glad we covered this, maybe not in a very depth, but we did cover it. And by the way, I will do a follow up um, blog post on my website. Maybe not right away. It's probably going to take me a couple of weeks to summarize it. But just go ahead and check the blog on my website if you want to learn about all of those things in depth. Mm -hmm. OK, Michael, I love this question. I don't remember who sent it, but um, it's here. Can I build muscle after 60? Can I build muscle after 60? I'm going to give you um. first turn and then I'm going to get my turn because I see I'm going to keep silent. Just go uh, ahead. All I can say is it's not easy to gain muscles after 60, okay? But you still got to do the weight. Um, do weights and everything. That's to, right. Uh, and if nothing else, to maintain what muscles you do have. Now, if you have problems like uh, prostate cancer or something like that, and you got to keep a get a low, you got to keep a low testosterone mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. uh, that's even almost impossible or very difficult. Very Much very more difficult. Challenging. Yeah, yeah, if you have low testosterone, to um, to build your muscles, uh, but. Uh, apart from that, uh, no matter what, it's good to do the way things to at least, if nothing else, to maintain your muscles. To you know? maintain the strength. And, mm -hmm. uh, and you don't have to start off big, just start off small and then work your way up. It's amazing, though. It's amazing what Michael oh, can do, well. I must say that. Um, and I want to um, intercept myself in this. Michael actually, guys, started when we met. I met him in the yoga practice first, right? Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. So in the yoga practice and for a while, he'd been doing just yoga with me. Then I offered him to try a Pilates class and the Michael response were, well. no, <laughs> his response was, no, I don't think I can do it. And I talked him into that and mm -hmm. 
tell the viewers what's happened. Oh, it's um, actually, it's an amazing story, guys. Yeah, I mean, I I tried it, and you know, it wasn't easy, especially with Julia at her classes. But little by little, I mean, uh, not only was I able to keep up, but I mean, I was. I guess I was proud of myself. I was actually able to. I was proud do of pretty you well, too. You know, and I, I amazed myself. I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to be bragging or anything, but I, I was really. Uh, I, I loved the class. Well, he's keep doing Pilates until these days, and as you know, we're doing it with the weights, with the ball, with the resistance bands, okay. with the ankle weights, <laughs> with the ring, all different ways, which actually one way to get your strings in by the way but listen to that then michael started to do the weight training with me it's another amazing story he's doing his yoga classes he's doing pilates he's getting stronger and i said michael now you have to try power circuit which is our cardio strings he's like mm -hmm. absolutely not I'm not doing that. He already talked me into the Pilates. And I said, well, but you're loving it, right? So he showed up for that power circuit, cardio strength class. Tell them what's happened. My goodness, from two and a half pounds, you moved. Well, I'm up to seven, seven and a half. Seven it and a half. It doesn't sound much, right but now. in her classes, seven they and know, a half. They know. Because, you know, you're holding them of out there the for some time, too, mm -hmm. you know. So, uh, but I mean, I started off just in the back corner, yeah. <laughs> so nobody would see That's me, okay. you know, because not only does she does the weight, but I mean, she does a step part. The first ten minutes is a step class, and, too, and I don't move that good. fast. But you're very good. I don't know if I'm very well, good. Well, everybody saw to keep you on up. that little video on the shorts mm. when Michael is doing the step, so you don't have to be shy. But by little by little, I I kind of start moving up. So now I'm a little bit closer, so closer. I could see you better and. Uh, Improve. I, I have improved, though. I, I got to admit that, especially with the step class, I did. I was all over the place when I began that. Well, but that's well, where you got to begin. Sometimes, you know, just you got to start somewhere, and it's a matter of just continuing with it. Don't give up, and uh, that's right. You'll you improve. You'll improve perfect. no matter what you'll you do. Improve you'll improve. No matter what you, you do, you're right. You stick by it. Yeah. Totally agree. Well, I want to add a little bit to this. Um, how much should, uh, no, can I build a muscle after 60? So we covered this totally. And Michael shared his story because he taken a special medications, probably that's what he was trying to say. And it's more challenging, but there are a research in place guys. And um, no matter how old are you, no matter of your gender, diet is important, amount of exercise is important, and type of exercise you're doing. As long as you're doing your strength exercises, uh, strength training, it doesn't have to be a heavy weight. The mature adult building the muscles almost the same way as the younger people, almost the same way. So don't worry about it. Just keep on working out, keep on eating good, and you can definitely keep your healthy muscles in place. And it's also really important, especially for the aging people that um, we do the strength training for our bones density. Because as we age, we lose the bone density, especially guys for women, mm -hmm. um, it's very, very Im important. And for males too. Mm -hmm. So make sure you include your strength training in your workouts. Again, it doesn't have to be a super heavy weights, mm -hmm. two pounds, three pounds, five pounds, 10 pounds maybe if you get in there just but work your way up to, uh, yeah just your work your way up work your way up okay that's very interesting question it's pretty much what we covered already um but um and this is the last one this is actually a last one and i want to give a little bit more explanation in depth but we're going to give a michael first thing mm. how can i look younger at 60 or after 60, how can I look younger after 60? I'm not gonna be a good really, a good e example to talk about it because I'm not 60 yet, but Michael is 73, so, and I think he looks amazing. So Michael, just a few things. How can you look well, younger? 
Well, and your age than get... your age. I guess that's what's the question. How can you look younger than your age? Well, you could always get cosmetic surgery and Botox <laughs> and all that stuff. You can do that. But, but I'm not, not into do... any of that. Yes, okay. I know you are not. But I, you know, it's just a matter of you know eating nutritious food. Mm -hmm. Don't eat bad food. Um, back to that. And um, and exercise enough so that you're you're toning your body. You know mm -hmm. what I mean. Just uh, I love it. You don't have to have big big muscles or you anything don't. to to look younger. And but just toning your your body to uh, mm -hmm. and that will sort of help you look younger. And I think if you eat the right foods and also don't eat the bad foods either. Don't eat the bad foods, guys. Yeah. And uh, I guess the other thing is maybe. Don't get too much sun either. I'm loving that you said it because that was on one of my points and I was thinking if you're not going to mention it, then I will mention. Oh, okay, yeah. Because, uh, you know, I mean, I, like I work in my yard a lot too, but I always wear long sleeve. Mm -hmm. I, I just don't want to get too much sun. I don't like okay. using sunscreen, but I might use a little bit if I really have to. You probably should, but that's okay. I probably should, yeah. But I, I kind of try not to get too much direct sun. Mm -hmm. A little bit is good. I mean, you know, vitamin D and everything. It's healthy mm -hmm. for you. It and is it's healthy good. for it's you. Good. It it's is good. It's good to be out in the sun. But just overdoing it is... When I was younger, you know, I used to lay in the sun for hours sometimes to get this tan. But usually you'd get burned and then... Your you skin would peel and everything like that. But I, I think you find that the people who are laying, laying the sun too long, I mean, they seem to age very, they Faster. look very older than the, they, older, they should. Yeah. 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 In, 40s, in 40s, they look like 60s. That's true. So that's yeah. what sun can do to you. We got to be really careful. Yeah, you got to be careful. What do you say about the stress? Don't stress, guys. About the what? About the stress. Stress? Yes, yeah, stress level. Um, how are you coping with that? Do you stress? Well, I just try to take things easy, take what comes and goes, and I try not to. I, I try not to stress. I mean, sure, you're going to be in those situations, you know, and but uh, I try to. Uh, I try not to, to stress myself, you know. And I think this I, is also a big part of the healthy aging. We really learn how to cope with the stress. And stress can make you looking older, for sure. So we have yeah. to learn how to. We all stress. We're all human beings. We all we stress. All, yeah, we all stress. stress. But we have to learn how to let go. How to mm. just quickly let go and leave it behind. And that's yeah. what our yoga classes do. Yeah. Sometimes I'm so stressed in the morning. I don't like to say it, but um, yep. it is. And after a good yoga class, you just... It's, it's a relief, you know, It's sometimes. a relief, yeah, yeah. You feel really peaceful, yeah. I agree. And I also want to add, um, make sure that I covered this question, guys, from you. How can I look younger at 60 or after 60? Or we can put, how can I look younger after 70, right? Um, Michael is not into, into those stuff, but I just want to make sure to mention it. Um, smoking will make you look older yes. and it's going to make you very very unhealthy it's going to make harder everything so if you still guys um into the smoking there is um i mean there is help and i mean there is books and counseling which going to help you to quit it because this is very detrimental to your health so i just I just wanted to bring it. I mean, have you ever smoked, Michael? I never smoked. Mm -hmm. never and smoked. I never, I never even, I never even, I never ever even attempted to pick up a cigarette, even in my teenager years. And I'm 38 now, you guys know, I'm, and I'm kind of proud of it. You know, I, mm -hmm. I never had a desire to Me do either. that. I never had a desire. So, and another thing, um, I want to talk about the alcohol. Mm. Um, I can't tell you what drink when drink, what to drink, and to drink at all or not. This is a personal choice, but I will definitely say if the excessive drinking is not going to make you look younger. Mm -hmm. Michael, do you drink? No, I, I'm almost, a, I consider myself a non-drinker, mm -hmm. but like over the last year, I might have had one or two drinks. Like if I'm in a place where they're just Wine. giving out drink. Well, I was, I was going to mention wine. Like if it's a little cool evening or something, a little wine to warm me up or something yeah. I might take. And that's totally. 
or totally fine. even it's a beer. Fine. I, but I would say maybe over the last year, I'm probably lucky if I had about three three drinks that's of any that's kind. That's really you know. nothing. Yeah, I mean, I could take that's it or leave it. If you, if yeah. I never saw alcohol again, it Have you enough. ever, like, did you drink before? No, before I, I was 60? never much of a drinker, no. And maybe it was because I had two uncles that were alcoholics. Mm -hmm. And maybe so that turned me them. away, too. And, and I knew it even as a kid, even when I was young, they used to come to our house. They, it just kind of turned me off. I said, I don't want to be like mm -hmm. them. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, they were. Yeah, I know, I know. It made them happy and, you know, I had a neighbor this, like but, that. But, uh, and, and one of them died at a young age of cirrhosis of the liver, too, mm. which was due to the alcoholism. He was only 55, I believe. Very young. Yeah. Well, I want to add um, a little bit to this. Um, I do drink socially, okay? Some of you already asked me about it. Mm -hmm. I don't drink any heavy, any heavy alcohol, and I don't drink every single day. I would always, if I drink something, it would be a glass of quality wine. Quality also is a key. If you guys drink, make sure you choose a good quality products. Because mm -hmm. let's say, I mean, I don't know much about any other type of drinks other than wines, and I know a lot about my wines, but I would say that. If you go for the good quality wine, which is a dry wine, not semi-dry, not sweet, because it has a lot of sugar in it, it's gonna spike your, it's gonna, it's just not, it's just not gonna do any good for your body. And, um, and it's also will spike your craving for the sugars too. You don't need that. So if you go for the wine, just go for the good quality, healthy, dry glass of wine occasionally. And I think you're gonna be totally fine. Mm -hmm. So it's just it's just like everything in moderation, right? right? Everything in moderation. Wow, Michael, we we covered a lot today, actually. Mm -hmm. But I am a practical girl, so I want guys to leave you with uh, really practical advices. I mean, after this friendly conversation for all of us, and um, Michael, would you share with everyone your top six key things? how to stay healthy, how to stay healthy, have a lot of energy and look good and be strong and show up for your fitness. So your top six things you would leave our viewers today with. Oh, well. I'm excited to hear it too. Well, I guess we covered some of it. We is covered, what you eat, but let's do a summary. And nutrition, have proper nutrition. And again, the exercise and it's, it's a matter of working up. Don't don't try to do too much at once. Mm -hmm. Kind of build yourself up, you know, it's, it's easier. But it's also some of the stuff you shouldn't do, and, and you already mentioned some of them, the smoking, illegal drugs, and too much oh, alcohol, you know. Mm -hmm. those, you gotta avoid those things. The other thing, uh, you know, well, we mentioned the exercise and all that, and different kinds of exercise. But there's also the mental exercise too. Sometimes you gotta exercise your brain a little mm -hmm. bit. I mean, I do simple things like uh, I watch Jeopardy, you know, because I we love Jeopardy in our family too. Yeah, I mean, see how many of those I could answer, you know, and it really gives you a boost if you really know one that they. Don't. Mm -hmm. It's a rare event sometimes, you know, <laughs> if you know something that they don't know. But a couple times, you know, none of them knew it. I knew the answer, you know. Wow. So it just kind of it's a good mentally, you know, just to see how much you know and everything mm -hmm. and um, and how much you could remember is the other part. Mm -hmm. So it kind of helps you on that. But also, I before I go to bed, I spend probably like the last half hour on the computer mm -hmm. just playing. There's three, basically, games I play, which are kind of for the brain more. What are those? Scrabble. I play okay. against the computer. Okay. And I play uh, Sudoku. All right, that's a wonderful game. I love to play that. Mm -hmm. And then I play, uh, it's uh, like a fast Mahjong, where if you know Mahjong mm -hmm. and you gotta get rid of I the I have tiles. never played, but I have a lot of but friends who But I'm on a timer, like it's on a timer. So mm -hmm. see how fast I could remove all the tiles, mm -hmm. if you could remove them, you know? And so I play, uh, it's really playing against myself because I got the record how much time, you know, so 
over the last year. You know, I keep on seeing if I could beat my record. Are you, know? you improving? Uh, well, yeah, everyone did you beat actually I surprised because a couple of weeks ago I did because I've been playing sometimes. So I have like the t I'm like on the top 10. Of course, it's my own name, mm -hmm. but the time is really uh, very low. And it's it's I could wow. like in two minutes, I could Amazing. get rid of that tile. So but I, but I did beat I did beat that. I did beat my best score there. Your best score there. Uh, not too long ago, maybe about three weeks ago. And I was surprised. Wow. But so even to get in the minutes. top ten is good. Thirty minutes a day. Uh, yeah, you but spend. right before I go to bed, about mm -hmm. the last half hour. That's an important point, Michael made. I even um, I didn't even include, and I didn't actually get any questions on that too, which is I would agree. That's a big part. You have to exercise your body, guys, and you have to exercise your brain. Not even if you aging, but in general, it's really, really, it's really important. It's going to keep your brain healthy for the long run. Yeah. And another thing, uh, which I think you may have mentioned earlier, is your sleep, you know, or rest. You, know, you got to, and it's different for different people, you know. For me, it's like seven and a half hours. I try to get on seven That's and a half hours every day. You. I go to bed early, but I get up early, too. I get up real early. What time you get up? <laughs> At four o'clock. At four o'clock. I'm like, like at four o'clock. What time but you I make go to it bed? A, but I make it a half, well, eight thirty, nine o'clock. But uh, I made it a habit. So I do it every day, you know. So, and if you get in the habit of doing it, it's it's easy. You're right. It's a matter of just. I get up about 4:30 every every morning, so I there can relate to it. And I go to bed in about probably 10. Yeah, I'm you, out. Yeah, you may not need as much sleep as I do. I don't know. Oh, well, I need a good seven to eight hours. That's I, I kind mean, of what I try to. Yeah, some people for. only need three hours. You know, that's fine. You know, but mm -hmm. you got to know what what your uh, limits are and what what's good for you and try to stick Thank by you. that try to stick by daily whatever if it's you need seven hours or five hours try to at least stick by that all the time I agree well we covered today a lot of information and if we miss something guys please um, Feel free to leave the comments down below. If you want to connect with Michael, Michael, is there any way for people to connect with you if they want the Facebook, the Instagram, any other way? Because I'm sure they're probably going to have I'll some questions. I'll probably leave it with you and you could put it on, put it on there somewhere, yeah. All right, so is that a Facebook? I'm just asking. I, I do have a membership in Facebook. I never use it, but you I do have, so I could leave something there. Okay. Yeah. Or my right. email. I don't well, care. Well, I just want to make sure if uh, yeah. someone wants to reach you, they have a way oh, yeah. to reach you and ask you personal questions because, you know, some questions I can't answer, you know, because mm -hmm. I'm not there yet. I learn a lot, study a lot. I have a lot of good friends who can teach me a lot of really good stuff and uh, principles of life. And, you know, it's a destination. It's a destination and a journey. It all comes together. So it's never ending. Mm -hmm. We grow and we learn every single day. We're getting stronger, faster, smarter, right? Strong people. We never give up, team. I will see you in our next video. Bye, guys. Bye.